Hi everyone and welcome to today's tutorial which is all about making your own marzipan. Now this may seem quite intimidating but trust me making your own marzipan is actually a lot easier than it sounds. I've listed all the ingredients that you need for this on the screen right now. Um, the first step is to combine the two eggs and the mixed bowl of 175 grams of icing sugar and 175 grams of caster sugar. Before moving on to the next step, you need to make sure that everything is incorporated and that there are no lumps of sugar left in the egg mixture. For this next step, you're going to need a pan of boiling water. Now I've had to move mine over because the lighting right by the hob is not very good and I can't reach my electric hand whisk over but if you can reach your electric hand whisk onto your hob it produces a better effect and it won't take as much time as I did. At this point we're incorporating air into the egg mixture whilst we're cooking it slightly in order to thicken it. It's important to note at this point that the eggs won't be totally cooked unless they're brought to a temperature of 71 degrees celsius um, and that happens a lot later than when we're finished with the mixture. So if you are going to be serving anybody who is pregnant or has a raw egg allergy I suggest actually buying shop bought marzipan as you can just be certain that you won't be triggering any allergy. So what we're looking for from this mixture is for the egg mixture to become very pale and light but we also want it to almost double in size due to the air incorporated into it. You'll know that it's ready when it leaves a three second trail. By that I mean that when you lift your beaters up into the air and the mixture falls onto the surface of the um, mixture, this is hard to explain, um, that any lines stay for at least three seconds. This is a term called to the ribbon. So once you're happy with the point that you've got your egg mixture, you'll want to take the bowl off of the heat and whisk it until the sides of the bowl are cool. Once the sides of the bowl are cool, you want to incorporate your ground almonds and your half a teaspoon of lemon juice. At this point, it's very key to fold the mixture and to not overwork the mixture too much because the ground almonds is full of almond oil and if you work it too much, you encourage the almond oil out of the almonds and it will make the marzipan quite oily and a little harder to handle.
Uh, this will make the marzipan come together in quite a shaggy dough. So you'll want to get hold of either some corn flour or some icing sugar. I find the corn flour actually works quite well because it doesn't make the mixture overly sticky. Um, and what you want to do in as few movements as possible is bring the marzipan together into a sort of puck shape, like a flat circle or rectangle in my case because I'm using this marzipan for my Battenberg. This makes the rolling process a lot easier and means that you won't have to work the marzipan too much with the rolling pin, again encouraging the oil to come out when it comes to the rolling stage. Wrap your marzipan in cling film and fridge for at least 30 minutes before using and there you go, you have your own homemade marzipan to use on any project you would like, perhaps a Battenberg. If you would like to see how I use this marzipan to wrap my Battenberg in, you can just head on over to that video. So thank you so much for watching this marzipan tutorial, I hope you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and to like the video if you liked it and thanks for watching.